Hey guys, it's your girl Shalaya and happy Monday. Guys, we have some great news for some people. Now that's in regards to these $1,200 stimulus checks. One state or a few states are gonna get them, but not all of us, all right? Then we got some unemployment where a few people are gonna be happy. We have social security cuts. We also have jobs that are hiring right now and then some grants. So if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family, super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below and you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because I've been eating like red hots and my tongue is red and I don't know what's going on and I didn't feel like putting on any lashes. It's Monday, so y'all just gonna take it, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it, guys, because I know a few of you are going to hit the thumbs down button, but I'll still be back tomorrow, so we'll, we'll go ahead and get through it, child. All right, so as of right now, lawmakers are rushing to craft this next relief package. And as of right now, what they're trying to do is a lot of the Democrats are actually backing this $908 billion proposal. We talked about this last week. The proposal, it's great, okay, as far as it helps a lot of families that are in need regarding the unemployment. However, it doesn't help us that wanted that $1,200 stimulus check, right? So not only does it help with the unemployment for a $300 boost, and they're talking about retroactivating it, which is great before the holidays. It also has where the eviction moratorium, so people will not actually be able to be evicted from their homes as well, you know, before the end of the year. So, I mean, it does help out a lot of people, right? But the one thing that it doesn't give us is that $1,200 stimulus check. But wait, wait, wait. Don't hit the, dump, the thumbs down button just yet. Okay, pause for the cause. On Friday, Joe Biden, the president-elect, said that the direct payments for $1,200 may still be in play. Now, of course, he's not the only one that stated this. Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana, he agreed to a new round of $1,200 stimulus checks as well. And they said, this is not the stimulus bill, guys. This is just a relief bill. So we know by December 11th, they actually have to come together and bring up something to avoid this government shutdown. And so all they're gonna do is say, hey, you know what? We got all this for the government shutdown. We're just gonna attach this relief bill to help those that the unemployment will expire after Christmas as well and with the eviction moratorium. So ultimately it's not really a stimulus package, it's a relief package, but I know my people and y'all gonna be like, well, I need $1,200 relief, am I right? I know, I, I know y'all are gonna say it, right? I know you're gonna say this, but as of right now, it would do the $300 per week in unemployment. It would extend the freeze for evictions. It's also gonna bring money for the Paycheck Protection Program and give a second round to businesses that are struggling during the pandemic as well. And according to President-elect Joe Biden, he says, hey, when the inauguration happens on January 20th, at that time, we can go ahead and face the stimulus package and get these $1,200 checks, which is around tax time. So you can have money, money, money coming in, right? It is tax time as well, but then also the runoff election in Georgia will be completed as well. Now, one thing a lot of people are very kind of upset about too, in this $908 billion package, it does have, well, five billion of those dollars will be allotted for the opiate treatment. Now, with the, opi the opiate treatment, I think it's great because as of right now, we know that there's a lot of people that are suffering with addictions and substance abuse disorders, alcoholism, drugs, all those things. But some people in the comments that I was reading, they were saying like, hey, why are we giving $5 billion for opiates? I'm okay with it. And I told you guys like, you know, that's just me. Let me know what you think down below. But one state is going to give, or some states are doing their own thing, right? Because they're like, hey, we can't wait on Congress, which I told you guys, you can't wait on Congress, right? That's why you got to get my ebook, because you need to get on YouTube and make this money, honey, right? We all can win here. It ain't no shame in my game. All right. But DC Mayor Muriel Bozer said that she's actually going to provide $1,200 checks to eligible residents. So she said, as of right now, she's in the nation's capital. She said, these one-time checks will actually go for those who already qualify for pandemic unemployment assistance. 
And she said that as of right now, she has called for the stimulus checks to return, but since it's not returning and gig workers and others normally not eligible for state level unemployment programs, she wants to help about 20,000 DC residents who will be eligible for these new $1,200 checks. So, I mean, hey, she's not the only one that's doing this. We talked about this. There's other states that are providing relief as well in stimulus bills. So we have like Alaska, California, Colorado, New Mexico, Maryland, New York. In the past few weeks, they have all announced now in Colorado, they are giving out the $375 stimulus checks to residents who have suffered financial hardship that are on unemployment as well. And then all workers are eligible for a $25 to $500 a week in unemployment benefits between March 15th and October 24th. So it's like a one-time boost that Colorado is doing as well. In New Mexico, we talked about their governor has signed that $330 million relief package that's gonna give out $1,200 stimulus checks as well to individuals. Seems like every state is doing something except Alabama, I'm just saying. But in Alaska, Governor Mike Dunleavy, he is also doing $20 million in CARES Act funding to Anchorage and to help struggling businesses, as well as Maryland Governor Larry Hogan. He's issuing $19 million in grants to prevent evictions. And he said that he's going to help more than 3,600 households. In New York City, they have a $35 million offer no interest loan to small businesses to low to moderate income neighborhoods. California Governor Newsom announced that he's giving grants up to $25,000, but these grants for him will not reach recipients until next year. Then you have Minnesota, Governor Tim Waltz. He has provided $500 one-time payments to families. He also did a 13-week unemployment benefit extension, and he hopes that, you know, he can do a little bit more. So, I mean, as of right now, some states are doing it. Was your state mentioned? Because I didn't hear Alabama, right? So before you start to say, you don't ever do anything for Michigan or South Dakota, or that my state is not mentioned, okay? Like, I don't make the news, I just report it. All righty here. So the next one we have is in New Jersey. In, excuse me, in New Jersey. The governor in New Jersey is saying, hey, look, he's tired of all this back and forth. He is actually going to extend the unemployment for 20 more weeks as well. So he announced this on Friday, that additional 20 weeks of unemployment benefits. He said, we must be prepared in case Washington fails to act. This is why he was signing the legislation to extend 20 weeks of extended unemployment to the Department of Labor to provide those who have exhausted their state and local unemployment benefits as well. So, hey, some states, I see it. I like it. I like it. I love it, okay, that they are pitching in. Now, what's going on right now is the Social Security Administration. So all my SSI, SSDI people, they are preparing to bar 500 thousand Americans from getting benefits. So over the weekend, the SSA sent Social Security Administration, okay? They sent the Trump Administration Office of Management and Budget proposal, and it was kind of one that leaked earlier this year. And actually in that proposal, it would prevent 500,000 Americans from receiving benefits. Now, we don't know if this is gonna actually slip through because right now we're kind of in transition, right, with the new president coming in, and we don't know if at Joe Biden's inauguration, what he's going to do regarding the SSA. But in short, what they want to do is pretty much <clears throat> make it harder for older workers to receive Social Security disability insurance benefits. So all this, like, is that by the age? They have different things on here. So pretty much it's like, hey, as of right now, SSA is required to consider the age, the education, and the work experience when determining whether a person meets the statutory definition of disability. So they want to go and make sure they do their due diligence and make sure are they approving these people. And they're saying as of right now, that can bar up to 500,000 people. So I'll continue to monitor the story and see what's going on, but... It's kind of right now in limbo, right? All righty here. Now, if you are a pharmacy tech, a nurse, a pharmacist, anything that I guess that you can administer a shot, CVS, Walgreens, they need you, right? Because as of right now, CVS is going on a hiring spree and they're actually pleading with the public to help in the pandemic. So as of right now, they're in search for healthcare workers that can vaccinate Americans against the COVID-19 um, 
pandemic as of right now. So they are urgently hiring thousands, thousands of qualified pharmacists, pharmacy techs, nurses to help administer when it becomes available. And they sent that email this afternoon to customers. So it's like, hey, can you help us? And they said, these are not normal times right now that's going on. So it's CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and a lot of other drugstore chains. And they're joining hospitals and healthcare facilities to administer millions of vaccinations in the coming weeks and months. So, hey. Are you, do you follow one of those categories? Now, if you want to be like a pharmacy tech, it's a quick little course, okay? It's only like, I think like six weeks long and you take the state exam. So I'm just saying, you know, it is out there. They need, they are hiring if you want to go work. And I know somebody had asked me before, like, is it going to be a requirement for us to get the next stimulus check for us to get vaccinated? That was just a proposal. I don't know, it, it could happen. I'm not saying it is or it isn't, but it, at the time it was just presented as a proposal. All righty here, so back into Florida with Orange County. They stay giving away money, my goodness. They stay giving away money. Tomorrow, guys, tomorrow, Orange County officials are reopening the CARES Act stimulus portal December 8th at eight o'clock a.m. This money is for individuals and families that are suffering from the pandemic and they are allowing residents to apply for $1,000 grants. You must be an Orange County resident to qualify. You must have proof that you've been financially impacted by the pandemic, a photo ID, a social security card, your kidney. No, I'm joking, but submit documentation of your loss of income, which could be pay stubs, your employer notice of reduced hours, layoffs, furloughs. You're gonna have to prove it, all right? For you to get these duckies, you're gonna have to prove it. Now, the program now allows applicants per household or multiple applicants per household. So before it was only like one person per household, but now you can get it for you, your mama, your cousin too, right? Everybody can apply for this thing. However, if you already received it in the last groups that they've offered it, you can't get it if you already previously received one. But if you didn't receive one, put everybody on there, right? Y'all can have like eight, ten thousand $10,000, depending on how big your family is before the Christmas holiday. If you are approved, you will be notified by email. So that's all I got in the news today, guys. To me, I think it was great news, right? I think it's great news because we know so many people need this unemployment boost and the fact that they're probably, they're gonna go back and retroactivate this money just in time absolutely cool beans but for those that wanted that twelve hundred dollar stimulus check womp 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 right not necessarily great for us but you know hey as of right now is delayed is not denied right because everyone is still pushing for these twelve hundred dollar stimulus checks and we're not out the clear just yet the pandemic is still going on you know people are still actually coming in contact with this virus being quarantined so as of right now, they're gonna still have to continue to do something, but I'm glad they do have some type of solution in the way right now, or going down the pipeline that can help those that are really gonna need it with this unemployment and the eviction moratoriums. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, you always do, and uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys. And while you're at it, go ahead and watch Vlogmas. Get caught up, you can win some money, honey. Bye.